Migration is a hot topic these days. For example, here in Japan, the overall population is declining, but the number of foreign residents going way up. The same thing is happening in the Russian Far East. In both cases, how to make sure all these new foreign residents fit into the local society is becoming a big issue. But in the Russian Far East, it's a little bit more complicated. There is a lot of negative perception about the potential of Chinese people flooding in. To understand why, take a look at this map. It's a map of population density. You can see that the Russian Far East and Northeastern China, they share a long land border. But the Russian Far East has about seven times the land area, but less than 10% of the population of the Chinese side. So understandably, many Russians are quite anxious about the potential of Chinese people just coming in in large numbers. But despite these negative perceptions, um, we need to resolve this issue, right? And a lot of anxiety from the Russians, they breed hostility. And hostility, they breed conflict. Any society with too much conflict has a certain problem. No one wants too much conflict in their society because it doesn't benefit anyone. So, by looking at how the Chinese residents fit into the Russian uh, Far East society, I can say a lot about social integration in general. Unfortunately, the situation today is not very ideal. My research, which involves talking to over 100 people from both the Chinese and the Russian communities of the Russian Far East, found that integration is quite difficult. For example, many Chinese businessmen talk about how the local laws are used against them, making their business and their lives quite difficult. And many Russians, the local Russians who live in the Russian Far East, talk about how the Chinese community there is hopelessly isolated. But my research also shows some promising signs. Many young Russians, students uh, especially, they talk about how they want to pick up the Chinese language and eventually work in China one day. And many Chinese migrants who live in the Russian Far East talk about how they want to marry local Russians. So this uh, is a, quite a mixed picture, and this mixed picture shows us a way forward. Social integration, you see, it can be deepened by more social interactions. Interactions like business, education, or even romance. And through these interactions, in the process of that, we can reduce the negative perception that exists today. So simply put, by having more social interactions, we ease the process of new migrants and help them fit into the local host society. Whether that society is in the Russian Far East, in Japan, here, or any other part of the world. Thank you very much.